Good morning, ladies. I um, look forward to seeing you Thursday so we can get our top made. So here's a quick video on what we're gonna do with the dart. Cause I know some of you are gonna be um, in different places with cutting your pattern and everything. So I've got mine laid out and here's my fabric. It's a sample piece of fabric. I'm not doing my real one until I'm, I get with you guys. So you, this is what your fabric will look like. Okay, it's cut out. Here's the dart, okay, here's the side. All right, here's your tracing paper and the tracing wheel. And this is the wrong side of your fabric. This is the wrong side of your fabric, here and here. And this is where you're gonna do your mark, all right? My tracing line is a 12, that's the third line here. I'm gonna trace my, place my tracing paper, ink side down, wax side down, uh, chalk side down, whatever it is on your paper, on your the first layer of your fabric, okay? And then just trace. Come back down. There you are. There's your dart line right here, okay? And what you're gonna do, now keep your pattern on your real fabric, keep your pattern pinned down like here, up and here down. Just leave enough room for you to slide your paper in, but keep your pattern pinned down. And then you're gonna take it out and slide it underneath so you can get your mark on the opposite side because you need you have two darts, you have two darts, and you're gonna make two um, dart lines. And press a little harder because you're going to the other side, okay? Some of you may have done this already, okay? And there we go. Okay. Now let's push that to the side. All right. So here's a dart line. Here's your bodice. There's one dart, and there's a second dart. Now let's go over to the machine. I'm going to show you how to put the two lines together. Put this line, these two lines together, and stitch. Okay. Let's put these two lines together and stitch them. And the um, technique we're going to use is pin basting. These are the dart legs here. This is the dart point. And the idea is to put both these lines together and st stitch them down straight. This dart creates the shaping on the sides to create the curve that you need on the front, okay? At the dart point, put a pin there. Just slide it across. Just slide it across like that. And then take the dart legs and put them together. Now you're stitching right sides together. This is still the wrong side of your fabric. Put those dart lines together, the dart legs rather, and pin baste. Make sure your pin is going through the line on both sides. Get through. It might take you some minutes to get this done, but you'll get good at it, okay? And then if you do the point first, and just leave this pin flat, if you do the point first and the legs next, you can continue to, that line should be lined up. And then you can just continue to make sure that you pin baste it all the way down, okay? You shouldn't need but a few pins. There you go. It's all pin basted. All right. And now we're going to go to the machine and stitch. So I'm going to use a black thread so you can see the stitch as it goes. And here's the secret about doing a straight dart. Our fabric is sitting in the machine and we have the tendency to just put our fabric in straight. But you notice the dart line goes to the right. It's a slanted line. It's a diagonal line. So what I want you to do is turn the line to your eye line straight. That means your fabric is sitting in at a diagonal, but the dart line is exactly straight in your eyesight. So lower your needle at the very beginning of the dart leg, okay? Press your foot down and keep the line straight in your eye line because if you come straight, all the way, you'll come right off exactly where you need to be, which is 
right here at the bottom, okay? So keep turn the line straight and keep the line straight and stitch straight on the line and you'll have a straight dart every single time. And do a back stitch. My machine wanted to wake up. Remember the part about making sure your machine is happy? <laughs> out as you go, but stay straight on that line. And then you'll come right off of it. You won't overshoot it or anything. Okay, so there is your dart. Add it on the other side. See how nice and pretty that is? Okay, you've seen darts, just didn't know how to make them. So the tail of the dart always goes down, okay? You're gonna press it, you're gonna press it down, and here's the tail of the dart, and it will line up with your side seam. So when you stitch the front and the back together, the dart tail will be right there with the side seam, and it'll be straight. Okay. So good luck doing the next, the second one. All right, and then maybe do some practice on your darts. Okay, see you Thursday.